Welcome back to Exotic Pet X-rays. I'm Dr. Sue, and today we'll be looking at a bearded dragon X-ray. This bearded dragon presented for some non-specific signs, so nothing on our physical exam that immediately told us what was going wrong. Basically, they weren't eating as much, and maybe they were a little bit lethargic. And this is something I see very often with female bearded dragons. Can you see what might be going on? If you look very closely, you can see some round structures in the very back part of the coelom or abdomen. And these are actually follicles or the precursors to eggs. Now, bearded dragons are similar to chickens in the fact that they don't need to be with a male in order to produce eggs. They can simply produce duds. And when we have follicles, one of three things can happen. Sometimes they get resorbed by the body and you don't even know they were there. Other times they progress to eggs and the bearded dragon lays them similar to a chicken that would lay dud eggs. Both of these examples are typically what we like to see, but the third outcome is where it becomes a little bit dangerous. That's when the follicles sit there because the body can't decide what it wants to do with it. And if they sit there for too long, they can basically rot inside the abdomen. This can be very dangerous and we call this follicular stasis. Oftentimes we have to go into surgery in order to remove the follicles. And while we're there, we spay the bearded dragon so this can't ever happen again. Oftentimes when we diagnose this, we will take multiple x-rays or ultrasounds over the course of a few weeks to see which direction the eggs are going in. An important thing to note that if your bearded dragon does have the chance of having eggs, you should provide them with a lay box. Without a lay box, they might not be tempted to lay their eggs and that can turn into an issue as well. Another good tip is to always make sure you're providing calcium, especially during this process, because they need calcium in order to shell their eggs properly. It's just another reason why husbandry is so important in this species.